This is a News 22 update for Tuesday, March 17th. In the news today, the Seattle Post Intelligencer goes web only. The space shuttle Discovery is close to the International Space Station. Atlas Week is named for Sam and Marilyn Fox. Lindsay Lohan's warrant is tossed. Venezuela advances to the semifinals in the World Baseball Classic and Billiken Sports. In national news, the Seattle Post Intelligencer will go web only as of Wednesday. The paper will print its final issue today and will be delivered to the, all the homes of Seattle Times subscribers. The 146-year-old paper joins the history books with the Rocky Mountain News in Denver. The New York Times reports the last print edition began rolling off the presses at a suburban printing plant shortly after 10 p.m. Monday. The Seattle Times will be the only daily newspaper in Seattle. The space shuttle's discovery is due to arrive at the International Space Station today at 5.13 Eastern Daylight Time. Astronauts have spent the time looking at Discovery's heat shields for signs of damage. The mission will be an abbreviated eight-day stay. Among the crew is, Japanese Ko Jap is Japan's Koichi Wakata, who will be the first Japanese astronaut to live aboard the station. The shuttle will deliver a pair of solar panels that will allow the station to operate at full power, allowing up for up to six people to live in orbit. In SLU news, the annual international celebration at Salish University has a new name. The Sam and Marilyn Fox Atlas Week will be held March 30th through April 6th. Sam and Marilyn Fox are two prominent civic leaders in St. Louis. Mr. Fox has served as the ambassador to Belgium from April of 2007 to January of 2009, as well as a lifetime member of the Board of Trustees at Washington University in St. Louis. Mrs. Fox was elected to the first female president of the Jewish Community Center and has an active role with the Missouri Botanical Garden. In entertainment news, a judge yesterday threw out the warrant that was issued for Lindsay Lohan's arrest, which stemmed from a drunk driving offense and drug possession charge from 2007. Los Angeles Superior Court Judge, judge Marsha N. Revel threw out the warrant because Lohan has not failed any drug or alcohol tests. The BBC reports that Lohan pleaded guilty in August 2007 on two counts of being on the influence of cocaine and no contest to drink driving and the charge of reckless driving. She spent 84 minutes in jail and had to perform community service as well as the rehabilitation treatment. In sports, the semifinalist for the World Baseball Classic is Venezuela. Venezuela, the first semifinalist for the World Baseball Classic is Venezuela. Venezuela beat Puerto Rico 2 0 last night in Miami and will travel to Dodger Stadium in Los Angeles for play on Saturday. Mexico lost to Cuba 7 4 in a must win for Team Cuba. Team USA will play Puerto Rico in an elimination game today on ESPN. In Billiken Sports, the 6 and 16 Bills softball team dropped two games on Thursday last week to South Alabama. In the series opener, the Billikens got no hits in a 9 0 loss. Bell Pithram of the Jaggers pitched a complete game no-hitter. In the second game of the doubleheader, the Bills dropped an 8-1 decision where Jagger Katie Neal retired the first 10 batters she faced. Terry O'Keefe stole second base and scored in the top of the fifth off of Neal throwing error. Kelly Flanagan, Flanagan's double with two outs in the top of the seventh. In baseball, Zach Miller broke a tie game with a, home solo, with a solo home run in the bottom of the sixth Sunday in a 4-1 victory against Murray State. Billiken baseball is now 10-6. Miller had three hits and two ribbies, bringing his batting average to 396. Brian Cotton gets a win after seven and third innings, and allowing one run on three hits, striking out six and walking two. The Billikens get Billiken's 10-game homestand continues today when they take on North Dakota for a 3 p.m. game with a follow-up tomorrow. In swimming and diving, the NCAA Zone D meet in Mizzou and Columbia on Sunday. Chad Carmichael, Billy Horowski, Anna Larson, and Hannah Tots participate in diving. The C uh, college sports te television reports in the, one meter, in the women's one-meter prelims, Larson finished 25th with 211 points, and Tots got 194 points for 28th place. Carmichael placed 16th in the men's three-meter finals with point record performance of 504 points. Hrvatsky turned in the second highest score in the SLU history with 17th place finals effort with 434 points. However, SLU's divers did not place high enough to advance to next week's NCAA championships in Station, Texas. In College Station, Texas. That's your news for today. Don't forget to do your NCAA brackets. The tourney starts on Friday. I'm Kareem Johnson. Good day and good luck.